play with it, don't play with it, don't play with it. Don't play with it. Hey y'all, I am back with another video. So today I am taking it back. I gave y'all a duck nail freestyle. So I didn't know what I was doing with this set, but I'ma just walk y'all through it. And yeah, so I started with Bad and Bougie from Valentino, as y'all see. And basically I don't have a bead method for ducks um, like I do with like regular nails sometimes, but I just kind of build up because with duck nails, you still need an apex to give it a good look. So I just kind of build on my apex and go from there. The tips don't have to be that thick, so I don't really stress the tips, but I do stress creating an apex. using some polish i think this is either i think this is from model lines model lines however you say it um i bought like a big polish kit um maybe like two months ago but basically i'm just going to encapsulate this polish inside her nails so that's why you don't see any acrylic on it yet um i just did this pink and white like swirly design on both hands and then you're going to see me go in when i'm done with some clear I'm not the best like drawer, but I can, you know, make some lines a little bit, but I am not the best drawer. I can do what I can do. Um, I typically, when I get clients who want me to draw something, I always let them know if I haven't drawn it before, but if I feel like I can do it, I'll let them know and they'll come get it. But nine times out of 10, it works out. It hasn't failed me yet, but yeah, so I'm just taking the white polish outlining the pink polish and then once I finish with that y'all will see me start encapsulating <music>
blood, no secret. Buckles on the jacket, it's a leak shit. Nike crossbody, got a piece in. Gotta dance, but it's really on some street shit. I'ma show you how to get it. It go right foot up, left foot side. Okay, y'all, a tip with encapsulating. Try to make sure you don't have a wet bead because if it is, it will like make your polish underneath very like smudgy. But as long as you control your bead and it's not too wet, you should be fine. I normally do thinner beads anyway because I don't like thick acrylic. But a thin bead and a drier bead than normal would work perfect if you're trying to encapsulate polish. Um, I have messed up like a foil before not really thinking and my beat was too wet and it can literally like just take away i don't know the the ink from the foil or something like that but i went in and i'm building up my apex with bad and bougie and i'm not gonna lie this is probably one of my favorites now from um valentino prettiest pink was my absolute favorite but I'm really starting to like Bad and Bougie more and more, so I definitely will be buying this one again. Um, and then I went straight into the glitter finger. This glitter is Nova from Glam and Glitz. Um, I will say with any glitter, I tend to make my beads dry as a whole just because I feel like glitters are very runny. No matter what brand I use, it's just runny acrylic. So. I use dryer beads and the same thing for here. I um, worked my way to create an apex and that's pretty much it. I will say that Nova is like a universal glitter that all of my clients like. It's not too much, I guess. It's just perfect. It's like a clear iridescent um, glitter without like so, so much silver because I know sometimes silver can throw people off but this is probably my favorite and then i just went over it with clear to like build up the apex and that was pretty much it for that nail uh, i could give you satisfaction and you know we out here every day with it i'ma show you how to get it it go right foot up left foot side left foot up right foot side basically i'm saying neither way we about to slide Another thing when working with glitter, I tend to clean my brush a lot, um, especially if I have to go back in with another color because I do have to do the other hand. And also, I kind of just work with whatever finger I want to work with. Like, I don't go in a set um, motion. I don't do fingers, certain fingers first or anything like that. Um, sometimes I do the plain nails first. Sometimes I do the design fingers. It just depends on my mood for that day. But yeah, we're going back in with Bad and Bougie to finish the other hand.
somebody Even if you gotta leave somebody Yes, I'm hurting, yes, I'm dead all right y'all so bear with me this is probably the hardest part um to explain but my drill bit or my drill is set to eight right now and also i use my sanding band pretty much for my whole set um besides like my cuticle bit but honestly i just go over i smooth out their nails to make sure there are no bumps or lumps or anything like that and i just sped it up so that way y'all you know y'all didn't get bored but yeah and then my glitter i normally do the glitter nails last depending on what order i do them in because they do take a minute to dry all right y'all so my drill bit is probably or my drill is probably set to five I'm pretty good with not cutting my client's cuticles when going over them, but that's just something to be careful about, especially if you decide to use an actual cuticle bit. But for me, sanding bands do work. Um, like I said, I use sanding bands for almost my whole set. And I'm just going over and making sure that I'm not ruining the apex, but still keeping the nail pretty smooth so that way it's not lumpy. Said you need some time, but I should stick around for what Always felt like sticking around the same as being stuck That's the shit that drives me crazy And like guns with the ink in Getting under my skin Pretty little young thing Had a nigga come huffing Got me too excited Yeah to get a good duck nail you want to make sure you clean up the sides of your nails um just to make sure like the client doesn't have any acrylic over there or underneath sticking out um i like to just make sure that it's all pretty smooth and straightforward and then as far as the bottom i just like i said i don't like thick nails so i go in and i take off like excess acrylic and then this is also what helps give you that good duck shape but be careful doing this part my drill is on 10 right now while doing this um which i've done it a lot but it can mess up your duck nails very badly if you don't know what you're doing so i would say starting out put your drill on a lower setting and then of course i'm just buffing so you guys can see me design that was like my favorite part i think it's my favorite part of doing nails is probably placing the acrylic and then designing all right so here i'm just spraying my client's nails down with alcohol to me this is just a good way to you know clean her nails off make sure that they're dust free and also when you see your clients to wash their hands sometimes they decide to wipe their hands on their clothes and i don't like for lint to get into my polish so I kind of like doing it this way. It works out for me. My clients don't have to get up and go wash their hands if they don't want to. Sometimes um, I do make them go wash this depending on like if there's any acrylic, you know, that I got on their skin or anything like that. But yeah, for the most part, I use 70% alcohol. 90% alcohol can um, deteriorate your acrylic. Okay, so I started working on the flower and then I took it off because it wasn't how I wanted it. So then I just started playing around with it. I did keep hitting the camera, y'all, with my hat because I was wearing a hat that day. But yeah, just working on my flower. I hadn't done a flower exactly like this one. So it took me like two tries to get it right. And then I finally got it and I did both hands on um, the same when it came to design. But yeah, the flower was a bit tricky just because of where it's placed on the sides and because i hadn't really done anything like that it was kind of hard for me to figure out what angle i wanted each petal to go but then i figured it out and it came out really pretty 
For the thumb, I decided to do this zebra print white on white design. So what you saw me do was mix clear, which is top coat and white together, just so that way the base wasn't super white, but just white enough. And then I'm gonna go in with a super white gel to create the zebra print. And with French tip, I don't have a specific way to do French tip. I kind of just draw until I get the desired C curve that I want. Um, but that's pretty much it. And then y'all see the gel that I'm using is thick enough. So it gave the nail like a little 3D effect, which I really liked. Don't mind my table, y'all. Every time I do freestyles or any really any time I'm doing designs, my table just gets messier and messier as the day goes on. But I tend to top coat before um, I put on any kind of crystals. I know some people like to put their crystals on first. But me, I like to top coat and then add my crystals because I feel like it just gives a better finish. Sometimes when you put the crystals on first, you can kind of see like little lumps where you um, apply gel around your crystals. So... <laughs> Okay, so here I'm going in with some silver, y'all. This is just so that way when I create this um, full silver beaded nail that you can't see any of the pink underneath. So I add silver gel polish just to basically, you know, give the effect or the illusion that, you know, the whole nail is silver. And I use different sizes of these silver beads just to give it this bubble 3D effect, which came out really cute. And these you can get on Amazon. Everything else, um, if you guys want to know what I use and how I use whatever, I do have a products list that you guys can buy. I'm still working on a new one, but the one that I have, it's going to be similar. It'll just be more organized. Um, instead of it being just a list, you guys would have like categories, I guess. But yeah, if you guys want to see like what I use and how my crystals stay on and all that, you guys can feel free to go check out that products list. The link will be in the description. Like damn, she in her mood. 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 She lit, the money too. Like damn, she in her mood. In the mirror, I'm doing my dance. And then I just went ahead and top coated and voila, 
I hope y'all like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Give me feedback. This freestyle came out super, super cute. Um, it's still going crazy on Instagram right now. And I just love it. But yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and tuning in.